many people have asked for this, so here it is. The No Amiibo Newcastle Rats for Breath of the Wild any percent, or if you're like me, then all kill the medals. Also, if you'd consider subscribing, that would mean a lot. By the way, there are three Newcastle No Amiibo Rats all covered in this video, and they're in order from hardest to easiest, so you can use timestamps to choose which route you'd like to learn. After doing the BTB, you want to enter the guard's chamber and jump off that area right there. Unequip your axe, and then glide down all the way to the, this royal claymore. Just mash through the text. Now right now, the cutscene would be playing that shows that you entered the castle for the first time. But I've already been to the castle, so it's not playing. Then you want to target the moblin, and walk towards it, slowly using the ESS positioning, attacking it by sneak striking, and then side hop just to cancel the animation. Grab the Royal Guard's Claymore, and then just run all the way to this crate all the way on the right. Attack it, or just press Y to hit it, then jump just to cancel the animation again. Then you want to grab the Razor Shroom, which is the only thing that's here, and then regain stamina until there's a third that's there, then jump on the mall and climb. There's a lot that happens at once. Then throw sprint so the, the Zalfos don't notice you. And then just run all the way to this broken part of the wall. And switch to the circle bomb. Because we'll be using the square bomb in a second. And just open the chest to have the ancient arrows. You can also change your camera ahead of time like I did. Then go to your square bomb. Whistle sprint up until like around here. Throw your square bomb into the corner. Now we want to sneak strike the Zalfos and grab the Lysel Tri Boomerang, and then walk a bit away, and blow up the Square Bomb. Here we're going to do a scope clip to get out of bounds. And then, right there, I position the point of Link's hair right into the corner of the wall, where the two walls intersect. And then I press the scope button to clip out of bounds. And then right after that, you want to quickly mash X so that Link pulls out his glider and doesn't lose too much vertical height. Then, as you go, you want to slowly turn your camera towards this little mound that's above the bomb runes. And then you want to do throw aim so Link is facing it. And press B so he actually does it. And then quickly start gliding again, like I'm going to do in a second. Like that. Then perform a mid-air wind bomb, which is a bit tricky. But later on in the video, I'll show alternatives so you don't have to do a wind bomb if you're not too comfortable with them. Then quickly mash X so that your glider's being pulled, and then press B and then X quickly, just so that Link loses all his speed and doesn't go flying. Then we just want to turn around over to here. If you're low on stamina, then just land on here, and then you want to glide down to this area. Make sure to equip your woodcutter's axe, because we're going to be breaking it in a second to get another royal claymore. Then start crouching into this area and press B and X to clip back and balance. This part's a bit tricky going to whistle sprint all the way, move your camera towards the left, break these boxes, and throw your woodcutter's axe towards the moblin. It's a lot to do, but if done correctly, the moblin won't notice you and it'll be stunned, and then you can go behind it and sneak strike it like I'm about to do. The D-pad is pressing right, okay. Then we could sneak strike it and grab another royal claymore. Then you want to just get some arrows for calamity. Make sure not to pick up the barrel like that. And also not picking up an acorn. I didn't get very good arrow RNG. You probably want to do that after getting the bow in the moblin part. I'd say just go for the moblin gut just because it gives you the most time for your elixir and climb all the way up here using all your stamina. Then start holding out your shield just so you walk a bit faster as you go towards the dining hall and then you can sprint. Make sure not to whistle sprint though because we don't want the moblins to run towards us. Then we're going to do some more camera, camera manipulation by sprinting this way and having our camera facing the moblins on the right and grabbing the mighty bananas. Then just start crouching, grabbing the hardy truffle if you need it in the razor shroom. Switch back to your square bomb, and then distract the moblins using your square bomb. Once they start walking towards it, 
you're free to use an arrow and light the cooking pot. Again, a lot of stuff happens at once, so just try to keep up or slow down the video. It's kind of complicated. Make sure to grab your arrow back, then cook your two razor shrooms, mild and guts, banana, and bladed rhino beetle. If you're not able to cook, just move your camera up and then run out of the dining hall and blow up your square bomb. Let's find the whistle sprint now because you'll be leaving. Okay, now go into the second part of the wall, I guess. I accidentally pressed the L and it targeted the guardian. So you can eat your hearty truffle now and aim like here and do a front top wind bomb. Okay, this part is a bit tight because the guardian's attacking you. But land here, aim about here, and do another wind bomb. And then enter the sanctum right here. This is the end of the castle portion of any percent, or like me, all kill medals. Then you just want to do the normal wind blight skip. There you go. Now onto another rendition of the Newcastle No Amiibo route. Right now, I am at the part where I just killed the Lizalfos and took the tri Lizal Boomerang, I think it's called. So everything else is the same up until this point. So then, usually you clip here, but you want to walk towards this hallway. Of course, blow up the square bomb. Then for consistency sake, you want to shoot this Malasai right here. Because that little mouth, I guess you could call it, will spit out malice heads, which I think they might be called, when you're trying to scope clip and it'll hit you in one hit kill. So it's not the best. So you want to do another scope clip just the same way, then make sure Link doesn't fall off the edge, but you don't need to pull out your glider or anything, then just run or climb up there, and then you want to actually do a somewhat precise jump. That brings you all the way over here and through in a second you'll see that little entrance and then you clip back out of bounds uh, clip back in bounds and do the rest of the route normally yet again for the final version of the new castle no amiibo we will be starting right after killing the lizalfos everything up until now is the exact same again we go through this hallway blow up the square bomb then sprint all the way here shoot the malasai just wait for it to explode and then instead of clipping out of bounds, you run into this room and go through all this rubble here and go to this chest, which has an extra three ancient arrows, which makes Calamity even easier than just three. Now we have six. And you could run or glide all the way down to the painting that we're going to clip out of again. Just make sure you're not climbing at Link's position, clip out of bounds, and do the same thing as before, you could like run or climb or whatever, go for this somewhat hard jump, right into this area again, as wait for it to load again, looks the exact same, clip back in bounds again, do the rest of the route the exact same, it's only minor changes, it just takes out any wind bombs, and it makes Calamity way easier. Hope this tutorial helped you with learning the Newcastle and No Amiibo routes. For more content like this, you can check out my Twitch channel where I do speedruns of this game. It'd be great if at least one of these routes was useful for you, and that you reach your desired attempts for any percent. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you're here next time. See ya!